Welcome into another video in my series where I'm checking out all of the weapons inside of Modern Warfare 3 to see just how viable they are inside of Modern Warfare 3 zombies. And yes, this does include all of the Modern Warfare 2 weapons. Now today on Wednesdays, they update the weekly challenges. So I'm super excited for Wednesdays. And today's weekly challenge is going to be week eight. So it unlocks this blueprint, the Rook and the Rotten Inferno camo, which I think is really cool. We're gonna take a look at it here. I'm also gonna be using this on my run today. So let me know what you guys think of the Rotten Inferno. As well, there is the new Vortex Decays Realm event, which I have completed, which unlocks a, a pretty cool animated um, camo. I, uh, I quite enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. And if you finished the event already, this is what the animated camo looks like on your gun. I thought it was really cool. And it's on the blueprint that you get for unlocking the camo. So we're gonna be checking out the HMR9 in today's video. So if you guys are new around here and you like checking out to see how weapons work inside of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, make sure you subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out any future uploads from myself on Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. As well, down below in the description, you will find the links for my streams, and I would love to have you guys tune into the stream. We play a lot of custom zombies over there, so if that sounds like something you'd like to check out, hop into the streams, and we'll hope to see you guys there. Without further ado, let's get to the Week 8 Challenge Blueprint HMR9 video. All right, welcome into today's video where we're gonna be running the week eight challenges reward blueprint, which is called the Rook. And this is what it looks like. It's a blueprint for the HMR9 submachine gun from Modern Warfare 3. So as we do when we spawn in and we're testing out weapons in this series, we'd use just our, per our perks and uh, no upgrades to the weapon for our first bounty. I do have a couple extra goodies I brought in. I got my ether blade, I have mags of holding, um, so I got those and I uh, wanted to check out and see how this blueprint is like it's a really cool looking blueprint I really enjoyed the camo which I think was really awesome So I was interested to see how this HMR 9 blueprint does like I didn't make any changes to the blueprint at all uh, Just equipped the blueprint and took it into match to to test it out and knowing the HMR 9 was already a pretty strong SMG I was curious to see how this was with the build that you get awarded with for completing all week, eight week challenges uh, in your weekly challenges, which I'd done. So with the, uh, you know, no attachments on here and here we are with our tier one bounty, it, it did pretty good work. I was impressed, like I could see the critical hit damage was definitely up there, so that was nice to see. Um, then we go and equip on the legendary tool and shatter blast to see how it does with our second bounty inside of tier one. So we picked up that, we got ourselves a mimic and man he threw me right off of the building into the water i guess he wanted me to go swimming so uh we finished him up here the legendary tool on this hmr9 blueprint in tier one just evaporated the bounty i was thoroughly impressed with that i was like okay maybe this is viable i wasn't pleased with the recoil on the build i felt like it was kind of jumpy um so i was eager to test out keeping the camo on my gun this time for pack a punch so we went and meleeed it and kept the camo on here for this run because I wanted to showcase it because it just came out today and it was pretty cool. So we picked up our second bounty inside of tier one. We're now pack-a-punched with legendary and shatter blast on the weapon. And as expected, we just like insta deleted pretty much that mimic bounty inside of tier one. So we went and checked our loot uh, to see what we got. We got a pack crystal out of the deal, which was pretty good. So the next thing to do is to head off into tier two and really kind of test and see how this blueprint performs inside the higher tiers. So we are pack one we're legendary we got shatter blast we picked up a second bounty inside of tier two and it was a disciple now there was also a player that pleaded nearby so i went to go get him up but lo and behold his team i guess got there before i had a chance so i tried to help out but i certainly wasn't was unable to but i felt good about being able to go over there and you know at least help out if he needed it so then we got our tier two disciple bounty and i was curious how this blueprint would perform against the disciple don't ask about my aim there i i don't even know what was going on we'll just move past that but i could see the critical hits were doing really well for sure um i had a tough time trying to use those sights and see where to shoot the disciple like the hand to stop him from uh, you know draining my health and regaining his so that was a bit of an issue I did find, but overall the strength of the weapon is definitely there. Like the HMR9 SMG is, is a strong weapon. Regardless of build, I feel like it's gonna be just fine for you guys. 
Um, you'll see the build later in the video, so stick around for that. This is the blueprint build. Like I said, I haven't done any changes to it. This is just what you get for the reward for completing the uh, eight weeks challenges. We got an epic tool out of the deal with that bounty, which wasn't too bad. Now I needed to go over and double pack a punch this HMR9 and see what we could do against a bounty inside tier two. So we went and got a pack a punch. We picked up our bounty inside tier two. We're now double packed with legendary and shatter blast. And I was curious to see, you know, like what is it gonna do? And we got a disciple. So this was a good one for me to test. And what a difference putting pack a punch two made on this inside of tier two. I threw one decoy and pretty much just melted the disciple while I just stood there and shot everything around. So thoroughly impressed with this this blueprint for sure it's definitely strong um i do feel like if you were going to add some attachments to it or change them some some things up with this that you might want to work on the recoil stability and add some some attachments to help with that that's one thing i noticed with the blueprint last thing to do was to go ahead and put triple pack on the gun which we did with the crystal i brought in and then it was off to tier three to grab the rest of our perks which we did right here at the wonder fuzz machine and then it was time to see just what this HMR9 Rook Blueprint is capable of inside of Tier 3 with a whole bunch of zombies coming at you. We've got the sprinters, we've got the armored zombies, we've got dogs, with just a whole ton of zombies coming at me. And I felt like the hip fire was almost the way to go with this weapon because of the build. The stability just wasn't there. Uh, I feel like when you're aimed down sights on this, as it kind of bounces around a bit on you. So it definitely does the damage, but the build is definitely something. I'm curious to see um, like who's making these builds. Like I'm very curious to find out why they decided that these combinations of attachments is what we were gonna get after eight weeks of grinding for a blueprint. So I'm not saying it's a bad one. I'm just curious to see. I've always been curious on the back end of things and how they figured that out. So now that I'd done this, the next thing to test up was, can George, the guardian of the arches, how is he going to stand up to this HMR9 blueprint? Also, I guess his uh, one-day suspension for not being a very uh, good guardian of the arches is over because he's back. In my last video, he was not here. And in the video prior to that, I called it out. I said he was going to get fired. So that's pretty funny that he's back. So we had fired up his laser attack here and you can see the critical damage with this is astounding like that's already two heads shot off two laser attacks from him he fired up his third laser attack right here and we just about finished him off right here so george is definitely having another bad goal of it today as i came into the map and went to wreck him like i usually do and that was the end of george we checked out the loot i got a perk out of the deal i got a large backpack and i got another epic tool which was pretty awesome i was happy to take epic tools out it helps me um, on my runs like i'm usually running just epic or legendary at this point and then i came back because i wanted to see just how quickly we could take out george the guardian of the arches since he's back also this was an amazing opportunity for me to show you guys an awesome way to deal with mega abominations if you need mega abomination kills there's a great way to do it this is an awesome cheese bot inside of tier two that's right you can take your mega abomination from tier three and pull him into tier two and he won't come down these stairs for some reason he just doesn't fit through and will not come down the stairs so you can sit there and farm your mega abominations you can pull him from tier three you can pull poor George over and uh, you can take out George right here from the stairs. You can see the damage I'm doing. He's not even getting a laser attack in and we are literally just mowing him down. There was a bit of a problem with this gun I do find is the ammo count. I'm constantly having to look around for ammo. As you can see here, I ran out of ammo right near the end of my fight with George and it was just a bit of a tough go trying to find ammo. We, we found a bunch under his feet so I ran up there and grabbed it. And then George here fired up a laser attack you can see the damage like it's it's almost instant he's gone and there's not much left of his health i saw he was going to do another laser attack so we waited for that and finished him off right there so that was george taken out twice in this match and uh, he got me a rare tool and an ammo mod so again spent a bunch of time in this match running around tier three and stuff like that so we made it straight to xfil to get out of dodge continue to push our containment level even higher as i'm working on another character i have one currently at 272 so let me know in the comments what your highest containment level is and then we found a player outside the helicopter exfilling which i thought was pretty hilarious so we managed to get out of dodge we managed to push up our exfil this containment level on this character is at 119 and at the end of the video like i always do this is the weapon build this is the blueprint you get and it's got the new animated camo on it thanks for tuning in we'll catch you guys in the next one